Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for March 4th, 2024, from 1 John chapter 4. Confidence in God's transformative love, anticipating the day of judgment. Previously, we heard John emphasizing the profound connection between knowing and believing in God's love reveals a profound and experiential understanding of the divine love for humanity. The assertion that God is love encapsulates the very essence of God's nature, underscoring the inseparable link between God and love. Moreover, John highlights the reciprocal relationship of those who abide in love and God, illustrating that Embracing and living out the principles of love results in a tangible experience of God's presence. So let's continue with John from 1 John chapter 4, verse 17. By this is love perfected with us, so that we may have confidence for the day of judgment, because as he is, so also are we in this world. Now, this verse notes that the perfection of love among believers results in confidence for the day of judgment. The idea that as believers experience the changing power of God's love, it produces a sense of assurance and boldness when facing the prospect of divine judgment, that is, the last day. The confidence stems from the understanding that in a spiritual sense, believers share a likeness with Christ in this world, implying a conformity to Christ's character and righteousness all through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. This conformity is facilitated by God's perfecting love, and it provides believers with a foundation of assurance as they anticipate the day of judgment. So, notice where John puts the emphasis. The emphasis is on God's love that changes us. And then, God's love that we receive flows through us to other people. As we see God's love flowing through us, we should be assured that it is God's love because it is God's love, and, if to be honest, we have a human sinful nature. So if we are loving, it doesn't necessarily come from us, it is from God. And because it's from God, we should be assured with a strong confidence that we will be with Christ for eternity. Notice I'm putting a very strong emphasis on the confidence. Confidence in not what I have done, no. In confidence what Christ has done for me, for you. God's love is perfect, whereas our love is not perfect. We do not love as we should, especially when we see the perfect love coming from our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. But even though we do not demonstrate that perfect love, we have that perfect love because it's been given to us through faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So again, John puts the emphasis not on what we have done, but on what Christ has done for us. So that when the day of judgment arrives, that last day, we should have no fear. For God is inside of us. Our bodies are the temple of the Lord. And God Almighty will be welcoming us into his eternal kingdom as his dearly beloved Son. Because we bear the name of his dearly beloved son. We bear the name of Jesus when we were baptized. And so we will be welcomed by the Heavenly Father because he sees us as his children. God's peace and many blessings be with you and thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church. 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 
60544. Thank you again for listening.